everyone. Just want to do a quick little mini tutorial on an exercise that you're going to probably see showing up in your, your program a little bit more often, and that's called the devil press. Now, we're using it to sub out, uh, in some cases, another exercise that's in your program, the Widowmaker. And the reason is the devil press is actually, although it's going to look complicated and initially you're going to go, oh, wow, there's a lot going on there, it flows a lot smoother. So it's uh, physically more intuitive than the Widowmaker. Now, essentially what it is, when you boil it right down, it is a chest to deck on the dumbbells. You jump up, there's a small uh, dumbbell swing, and then it is a press, but there's no, it's not a two movement press, so one, two, it just comes all the way through on the way up and the way down, all right? So again, uh, a chest to deck, um, pop up, a dumbbell, uh, a double dumbbell swing, small swing, straight through to the press. So it looks like this. All right, now, the most important part of that whole movement is actually in the transition when you kick up or right before you kick out into the chest to deck. And that's because that is the place where if you're not taking a second to ensure proper form, you're gonna wind up coming up and you swing it like this. And honestly, I hate that because you're gonna see all this movement um, and put a lot of force and load on that low back. So what we're gonna be getting you to do when you do this exercise is after you jump up, so chest to deck and jump up, you're gonna take a second and you're gonna drop those hips and get the chest up so that the shoulders are higher than the hips and that's when you're gonna swing it back. When you swing it back, your hips are not gonna raise up. Just like on the kettlebell swing, you're not gonna come up like that because all of a sudden you're in that position we don't want you in, right? So you're gonna swing it back, snap it back, come up and press on the way down as it goes back. Again, I'm concentrating on keeping that tall, strong posture and not losing my form and swinging back like that. All right, so one more time. Watch for me to take that second to drop my hips down. So out, up, drop my hips, up, drop my hips, and down. Okay? If you can't do the full uh, chest to deck variation, you can regress it a little bit and just, just do a squat thrust, but you're still gonna be concentrated on keeping those hips down and the transition up and down. So it's gonna look like this. Hips down. Hips down, out. All right. If it's difficult to get into the low position, there's one more regression you can make and that's to put it on a bench or a step to bring it up a little bit if going all the way to the ground is, is too much. But honestly, if anything, if it still doesn't work for you, then this is not a good exercise for you. Um, so we will likely have switched it out already uh, for something else, but if not, make sure you come and ask us for a var variation or a, uh, a movement variation or an alternative that is better suited for where you're at. All right, as always, please train smart, train hard, and have fun.